hard work. Angeles, California, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences invites you to the 80th Annual Academy Awards on ABC. Brought to you by L'Oreal. L'Oreal is a proud sponsor of the 80th Annual Academy Awards. L'Oreal Paris, because you're worth it. GMC, creators of the new Yukon Hybrid. It's what happens when you never say never. J.C. Penney, introducing American living for family and home, only at J.C. Penney. And Diet Coke. Diet Coke is a proud supporter of the Heart Truth. To learn more, go to MyCocoAwards.com. And now, here's your host for the 80th Annual Academy Awards, John Stewart. You're actually here. This is exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. What an exciting night. These past three and a half months have been very tough. The town was torn apart by a bitter writer's strike, but I'm happy to say that the fight is over. So tonight... Tonight, welcome to the makeup sex. Of course, there is still, obviously, some collateral damage left over from the strike, emotionally, economically, perhaps worst of all, the cancellation of the legendary Vanity Fair Oscar party. Um, they said they did it out of, quote, respect for the writers. And, uh, oh, you know another way they could show respect for the writers? Uh, maybe one day invite some of them to the Vanity Fair Oscar party. <laughs> they would enjoy it. <laughs> Don't worry. They won't mingle. Don't worry. <laughs> they actually say that having the Oscars helped to end the strike. That the idea that getting the town back to work and having an Oscars was one of the impetus to, uh, to get things done. Which I think is wonderful. So if we could, before we spend the next four to five hours <laughs> giving each other golden statues, let's Take a moment to congratulate ourselves. Um, <laughs> tonight, though, no, please, enjoy. Tonight, we look beyond the dark days to focus on happier fare. This year's slate of Oscar-nominated psychopathic killer movies. Um, <laughs> does this town need a hug? What, what, what happened? No country for old men. Sweeney Todd, there will be blood. All I can say is thank God for teen pregnancy. <laughs> yeah. No, I think the country agrees. Shit everybody up. They needed that kind of lighthearted fare. There were, if I may, amazing performances this year, and I think everybody can agree on that. There really were. Uh, just terrific. Daniel Day-Lewis, remarkable. Kate Blanchett, twice. My friend Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem is Anton Chigurh. Remarkable. 
your work in No Country for Old Men, combining brilliantly Hannibal Lecter's murderousness with Dorothy Hamill's wedge cut. It was... <laughs> Julie Christie was absolutely amazing and away from her. Uh, brilliant movie. It was a moving story of a woman who forgets her own husband. Hillary Clinton called it the feel-good movie of the year. It... Yeah. it can happen to your guys, too. Believe me. I was happy to see Atonement nominated this year for Best Picture, quite frankly. Very happy. Atonement, finally a story that captured the passion and raw sexuality of Yom Kippur. It... <laughs> See where the Jews are in the audience. Uh... There's... Rabbi. Um... There's, uh... <laughs> there is a great variety in the nominated films this year, which I think is terrific. Even Norbit got a nomination, which I think is great. Too often, the Academy ignores movies that aren't good. <laughs> Congratulations to Mr. George Clooney for his fine film, Michael Clayton. Sir, you're a good man. The movie, uh, the movie is a little over 100 minutes uh, long, but since it's about lawyers, you can just round that up to two hours. It, uh... <laughs> we have big stars here. Johnny Depp, Harrison Ford. It's unbelievable. Dennis Hopper is here, for God's sakes. That's amazing. I only say that, of course, so Dennis knows where he is. Um... <laughs> You're here. Don't worry, I'm probably going to mention it every 15 minutes or so. It's going to be all right. You're with friends. Tonight is not just about the actors, it's also about directors, writers. Diablo Cody. What an amazing story. She wrote Juno. Such a great movie. Diablo Cody used to be an exotic dancer, and now she's an Oscar-nominated screenwriter. I hope you're enjoying the pay cut. It is... <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but uh, if you want to find out your stripper name uh, at home, all you have to do is take your pet's name and the street you grew up on. So uh, that makes my stripper name uh, Olympia Dukakis. <laughs> Hope I'm not stealing that from anyone. Not all films did as well as Juno, obviously. The films that were made about the Iraq War let's face it, did not do as well. But I am telling you, if we stay the course and keep these movies in the theaters, we can turn this around. I don't care if it takes 100 years. Withdrawing the Iraq movies would only embolden the audience. We cannot let the audience win. Oscar is 80 this year which makes him now automatically the front-runner for the Republican nomination. <laughs> the... This is, you have to admit, this is a huge election, an historic election, so much excitement. For the first time in so many years, we don't have an incumbent president or an incumbent vice president. The field is wide open. Have you all had a chance to examine all the candidates, study their positions, and pick the Democrat you'll vote for? Democrats do have... Yeah, I know. Democrats do. Democrats do have an historic race going. Hillary Clinton versus Barack Obama. Normally, when you see a black man or a woman president, an asteroid is about to hit the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> How will we know it's the future? Silver unitards? That can't be all. <laughs> you have to give Barack Obama credit. He has overcome a great deal. Not just he is an African-American. Barack Hussein Obama 
is his name. His middle name is the last name of Iraq's former tyrant. His last name rhymes with Osama. That's not easy to overcome. I think we all remember the ill-fated 1944 presidential campaign of Gadolf Titler. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a shame. Titler had so many good ideas. It just couldn't get past the name and the mustache. But are you ready to have a wonderful show, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to this town? I'm delighted that you're here. We're going to have a great night. And it's time for our first presenter. By the way, this is probably a good time to mention, this is the environmentally conscious Green Oscars. So tonight, all of our presenters will be walking all the way to the microphones. Please welcome Jennifer Garner. A great costume designer has to be an expert in history, world cultures, fashion, color, fabric, display a flair for math and physics, and be a good communicator. And one more thing, you need to be really quick with a pair of scissors. If you have all those skills, you can rise to the top of your profession, just like this year's nominees for Achievement in Costume Design. Across the Universe, Costume Design by Albert Wolski. Atonement, Costume Design by Jacqueline Duran. Elizabeth, The Golden Age, Costume Design by Alexandra Byrne. La Vie en Rose, Costume Design by Merritt Allen. Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, Costume Design by Colleen Atwood. And the first Oscar of the evening goes to Alexandra Byrne for Elizabeth, The Golden Age. This is the first Academy Award and fourth nomination for Alexandra Byrne. She was previously nominated in this category for Hamlet. Wow. Um, thank you to the Academy. Thank you to Working Title and Universal, to Shaker and to Kate. And a huge thank you to my brilliant team and to my family. Thank you. The winner, it's a tie. A tie? Catherine Hepworth. There were five great performances. I mean, I thought mine was pretty good. Great, I would say. Pretty good, you know, pretty good. But, you know, I thought, why don't they give us all plaques? Be done with it, you know? Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. It was great. We'll be right back with Steve Carell, Anne Hathaway, and George Clooney, here on ABC. We need... All right. Hi, you guys. For the past eight decades, we've gathered each year to honor the outstanding achievements in film, filmmakers around the world. What started out as an intimate dinner for a handful at a party at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel has grown in size and stature to include a worldwide audience numbering in the hundreds of millions. 80 years of memories, a uh, streaker running behind David Niven, uh, Charlie Chaplin returning after years of exile. Surprise winners, giant production numbers, some great moments, some mistakes. But the one thing that has always been consistent, it's long, no. Uh, <laughs> It's unpredictable. Here is 80 years of Oscar. So this is the Oscars. This is nice. My fellow Americans, welcome to the Academy Awards, or as, as it's known at my house, Passover. 
Good evening, Hollywood phonies. I see a lot of new faces, especially on the old faces. As you can see, I did receive my Academy booklet on how to dress like a serious actress. Good evening. My pants are killing me. I want to thank my mom, my dad, for bringing me fish. You are really up on me. No idea this was part of my hosting duties. hell of a weekend in Dublin. And all our friends in Kate and everybody back in Boston watching us tonight. And thank you so much the city of Boston and, 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 and... Probably everybody I've ever met in my entire life and any other life I might have had. side of advantage and relying purely on courage it's possible thank you for the honor of, of inviting me here and oh, you're wonderful wow. wow that was terrific that was amazing I wasn't really I was also watching I love new media and I just, I'm watching Lawrence of Arabia. It's just awesome. <laughs> the cinematography is just, I'll tell you, to really appreciate it, you have to see it in the widescreen. Let me just, <laughs> oh yeah, that's, oh, those are camels, that's cool. <laughs> one of our next presenters is one of the funniest people I have ever met in my entire life. Uh, and I believe she is being joined by Steve Carell. Please welcome, Anne Hathaway and Steve Carell. Thank you, John, for that kind introduction. You never cease to amaze me with your constant need for attention. <laughs> the topics they tackle are as diverse as they are important. Political repression in Iran, the grueling and vicious competition in the world of sports, a scathing indictment of health code violations in the restaurant industry. These searingly painful documentaries are both tragic. Steve, we're doing animated features. Um, a cute little rat, chubby wubby, surfing penguins. <laughs> what about the girl in Iran? Uh, animated, Steve. You know, serious subject, but, but animated characters, not the doc, not, not real. This is not a documentary? No. I... Shoot. Did you read the script? No. How what many people are watching this? Uh, just, you don't know, 800 billion. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. Well, to hold that thought, um... Is this being shown in Belgium? We. Oui. Oh, shh. It's hey. It's oh. okay. It's okay. We'll get through this. All right. I'm, I'm gonna do the nominees now, okay? No. Nope. All right. Keep it together. The nominees for Best Animated Feature Film are... It's okay. 
Persepolis, Marjan Satrapi and Vincent Perrineau. Je grandis de 18 cm. Puis ma tête changea. Mon visage s'allongea, puis mon œil droit grossi, talonné par mon menton. Ma main droite devint énorme, puis mon pied gauche. Mon nez tripla de volume. Ma poitrine se développa. Ratatouille, Brad Bird. Surf's up, Ash Brannan and Chris Buck. Hold on. No, 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 hey, no, hey, no, hold hey, on. Where are you going? That's my board, man, all right? Why don't you take your board and go try it out? That's what I'm... Maybe I will, Good. huh? Piece of junk. Watch! Nice ride, man. And the Oscar goes to Ratatouille. Brad Bird. nomination this year for original screenplay for Ratatouille. This is the second Academy Award for Brad Bird. Uh, I think I'm going to throw up, too. Um, uh, I want to thank the Academy, and I also want to thank my junior high guidance counselor uh, for a meeting we had where he asked me, what do you want to do with your life? And I said, I want to make movies. And he said, what else do you want to do with your life? And I said, make movies. And he said, what if you couldn't make movies? I said, I'd have to find a way that I could. What if movies didn't exist? I'd have to invent them. And it went on like this till we were sick of each other. And I only realized just recently that he gave me the perfect training for the movie business. <laughs> So uh, I want to thank that, uh, my, my wife, Liz, who I love, um, my sons, uh, all the dreamers at Pixar and Disney, uh, John Lasseter, Steve Jobs, Ed Catmull. Um, wrap it up. Arr, hate that thing. Um, uh, uh, producer Brad Lewis, um, Jan Pinkova, and Dick Cook, and all the in dreamers um, who are supporting a rat who dreams. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Katherine Heigl. <sighs> please forgive me, I'm unbelievably nervous. I'm not very good at this. Um, over the last 27 years, Oscars for makeup have been awarded to artists who created vampires, werewolves, cavemen, fierce warriors with beautiful blue faces and apes who speak English. They work very long hours, go home covered in muck, and uh, have altogether too much fun. The nominees are... DDA Lavergne and Jan Archibald for La Vie en Rose. Rick Baker and Kazuhiro Suji for Norbit. Can't run from your problems, Norbit. Black people run fast, but problem even faster. V. Neal and Martin Samuel for Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. All Alien, slug and braces! Hi, Captain! Slug and braces! And the Oscar goes to... Didier Lavergne and Jan Archibald for La Vie en Rose. This is the first Academy Award for Didier Lavergne and Jan Archibald. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you at the Academy. And uh, what can I say? I'm really happy and proud to be here with you. Bye. So,
thank you to the Academy for this huge honor. I'm overwhelmed, it's just amazing. But I have a lot of people to thank, um, my assistants, particularly my um, Czech crew that worked with us in Prague and in Paris. They were amazing. They worked very hard and I owe a lot to them. And just, it's so exciting to be here. I don't know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> Now, tonight is also going to feature performances of all five Best Song nominees. The first one was written by multiple Oscar winners Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz. <laughs> that guy's a fan. <laughs> it's from Enchanted, and it's called Happy Working Song. So here we go. <clears throat> Happy working. Oh, we have professionals, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the star who played Giselle in the movie Enchanted, Amy Adams. Oh, all right, everyone. Let's tidy things up. Come, my little friends, as we all sing a happy little working song. Merry little voices, clear and strong. Come and roll your sleeves up, so to speak, in kitchen. Cleaning crud up in the kitchen, everything along. Drill a cherry tune in the tub as you scrub a stubborn mildew stain. Pluck a hairball from the shower drain to the gay refrain of a happy working song. We'll keep singing without fail, otherwise we spoil it. Hosing down the garbage pail and scrubbing up the toilet. Oh, how we all enjoy letting loose Michael got his. Uh, <laughs> well, you were born, honey. The Oscar goes to Catherine. I remember holding Michael's hand and being so, so sweaty. I just want to make sure we don't lose the baby. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like... To my father for helping a, a son step out of the shadow. And to my husband, and I share this award with you. I was blown away. You want to go, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, Kate Blanchett, Jennifer Hudson, and the award for supporting actor. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the 80th Academy Awards. In case you're wondering uh, what we all do here during the commercial breaks, uh, mostly we just sit around making catty remarks about the outfits you're all wearing at home. That's right, it goes both ways, people. <laughs> Our next presenter started out as a champion wrestler and transitioned to Hollywood stardom exactly the same way Ellen Page did it. That's right. 
Turn your back on her. Folding chair to the skull. Trust me. Please welcome Dwayne Johnson. It's a privilege to be here to present the award for best visual effects. Visual effects give the movies a sense of wonder and exhilaration. They also provided nightmares for a certain eight-year-old little kid who at the time thought the face melting scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark was very real. <laughs> He's over it now. The nominees are The Golden Compass, Michael Fink, Bill Westenhofer, Ben Morris, and Trevor Wood. Are you afraid? No. When I am, I will master my fear. Pirates of the Caribbean, at World's End. John Knoll, Al Hickel, Charles Gibson, and John Frazier. Transformers, Scott Farrar, Scott Benza, Russell Earl, and John Frazier. The Oscar goes to Michael Fink, Ben Westenhofer, Ben Morris, and Trevor Wood for the Golden Compass. This is the first Academy Award for Michael Fink, Bill Westenhofer, Ben Morris, and Trevor Wood. We just want to say thank you! Yeah. Yay. <laughs> I just want a small quote here from uh, Walt Disney who said, uh, it's uh, kind of fun to do the impossible. And uh, along with that, I just want to extend some thanks to Phil Pullman, Chris White, Susan McLeod, our producers, our incredible crew from all over the world, and to, especially to our families and to my wife, Melissa, and my handsome son, Alex. And to my family in Rhythm and Hughes, and Sue Rose out there watching this, thank you. Thank you to my family and my wonderful crew at Framestore CFC. A great crew and a great family. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Please welcome Academy Award winner and double nominee this year, Kate Blanchett. The category is Art Direction, and this year's nominees have created or recreated a diverse visual world to enhance the telling of their unique stories. These are the nominees for achievement in Art Direction. American Gangster, art direction by Arthur Max, and set decoration by Beth A. Rubino. Atonement, art direction by Sarah Greenwood, and set decoration by Katie Spencer. The Golden Compass, art direction by Dennis Gassner, and set decoration by Anna Pinnock. Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, art direction by Dante Ferretti, and set decoration by Francesco Lo Chavo. There Will Be Blood, art direction by Jack Fisk, and set decoration by Jim Erickson. And the Oscar goes to Dante Ferretti for Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, and the set decoration, Francesca Lo Chiavo. This is the second Academy Award and ninth nomination for Dante Ferretti, and the second win and seventh nomination for Francesca Lo Schiavo. They previously won Oscars for The Aviator. Uh, thank you, the Academy. 
Um, thank you to Tim Burton, fantastic director. Thank you to Richard Zanuck. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to my team, to all their department, everybody. Thank you, Johnny. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot something, but I'm very... No, thank you, anyway. Just I'd like, I'd like to say this time, thank you, thank you, the Academy. I'm so happy, so grateful. And uh, thank you to Tim Barton, great director, Johnny Depp, and all the actors, everybody, for this fantastic movie. That's nice. Truly an international night tonight. Really nice. And Kate Blanchett, my God, how great an actress is Kate Blanchett. She has had <laughs> unbelievable range. Uh, look at the range of roles uh, she took on. She played Queen Elizabeth. Uh, she played Bob Dylan. And a lot of people don't know this. No Country for Old Men, the scene where Josh Brolin is getting chased by the pit bull. <laughs> Kate Blanchett. She. She is amazing. Right now, I, John Stewart, am being played by Kate Blanchett. She <laughs> cannot be stopped. Now, listen, uh, now is the time uh, for me to introduce uh, a first acting award. And to do that, we're going to give you a little refresher course on past winners for supporting actor. So enjoy. Now we come to the vice versa section of the presentation in which the winner last year, or a former year in that category, but not of the same gender, male or female, though not necessarily in that order, presents the awards. The category Best Supporting Actor might be a little misleading. In any role of every size, each actor supports every other actor in the cast. And the winner is Walter Houston. Paul Morgan in a three time Frank Sinatra, From Here to Eternity, Jack Lemmon, and Mr. Roberts, Anthony Quinn, Red Button, to Kayamara, George Kikiri, from West Side Story, Walter Matthau, and the Fortune George Kennedy, Joe Gray, and Catherine. Don't let anybody tell you this isn't a terrific thrill. George Burns, Jason Robart, Christopher Walken, Louis Gossett, Jr., Jack Nicholson, Jim. Rock on. Donna Meachie, Sean Connery, and Enzel Washington, Gene Hackman, Tommy Lee Jones, Robin Williams and Bill Rowan. This might be the one time I'm speechless. James Coburn. Michael Caine. Benicio Del Toro. Chris Cooper. Tim Robbins. Morgan Freeman. George Clooney. Alan Arkin. And Little Miss Sunshine. And the Oscar goes to... Cuba Gooding Jr. and Jerry Maguire. Everybody involved with the movie, I love you! Oh, my goodness! Here we are! Thank you, Mr. Keaton. Ladies and gentlemen, Academy Award winner, Jennifer Hudson. That film tribute we just saw is a sampling of the many actors who have won Oscars for supporting actor. And now it's time to add a new name to that list. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role are... Casey Affleck in The Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford. I honestly believe I'm destined for great things, Mr. James. I got qualities that don't come shine through right at the outset. If you give me a chance, I get the job done, I guarantee you that. Javier Bardem, in No Country for Old Men. You know what day this on is going? No. 1958. It's been traveling 22 years to get here. And now it's here. And it's either heads or tails. And you have to say, call it. Well, look, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. You stand to win everything, call it. Philip Seymour Hoffman in Charlie Wilson's War. 
Promises were made. Not by me. I've been with the company for 24 years. I've advised and armed the Hellenic Army. I've neutralized champions of communism. I've spent the past three years learning Finnish, which should come in handy here in Virginia, and I'm never, ever sick at sea. So I want to know why I'm not going to be your Helsinki station chief. Hal Holbrook and Into the Wild. What do you say? You let me adopt you. I, I could be uh, your grandfather. Could we talk about this when I get back from Alaska? Would that be okay? Yeah, yeah. We can do that, yeah. Tom Wilkinson and Michael Clayton. And for $50 million in fees, I've spent 12% of my life destroying perfect Anna and her dead parents and her dying brother. When was the last time you took one of these? No, 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 no. I'm not losing this. Everything is now finally significant. The world is a beautiful and radiant place. I'm not trading that for this. If it's real, the pill won't kill it. I have blood on my hands. I'm an accomplice! You're a manic depressive. I am Shiva, the god of death. And the Oscar goes to Javier Bardin and Noah Kelsey for Old Men. Wow. All right. Uh... This is pretty amazing. Uh, it's a great honor for me to have this. I want to... I have to speak fast here, man. Thank you to the clients for being crazy enough to think that I could do that and put one of the most horrible haircuts on history over my head. Thank you for really improving my work. I want to share this with the cast, with the great uh, Tommy Lee Jones, with the great Josh Brolin, with the great Kelly McDonald. And I want to dedicate this to my mother. I have to say this in Spanish. I'm sorry, mamá, esto es para ti. Esto es para tus abuelos, para tus padres, Rafael y Matilde. Esto es por los cómicos de España que han traído como tú la dignidad y el orgullo a nuestro oficio. Esto es para España y esto es para todos vosotros. Thank you very much. The 80th Annual Academy Awards will continue with Owen Wilson, Kerry Russell, and the award for supporting actress here on ABC. Welcome back to the show. Now, for those of you who are waiting for a moment, Javier Bardem and his acceptance speech. That was a moment. That was lovely. That was, uh, I don't, uh, I happen to, if I may, a lot of people don't know what he said. I happen to have taken uh, Spanish in high school. Um, <clears throat> I believe he told his mother where the library is. Now, we've obviously seen some great tribute montages tonight. Had the writer's strike continued, they would have had to pad the show with even more montages. Uh, here's just a, a brief taste of what your four-hour writerless Oscars would have looked like. Please enjoy Oscar's salute to binoculars and periscopes. Thank God we didn't have to show that, really. <laughs> Wasn't even really worth dimming the lights, was it? Perhaps we would have had more success with Bad Dreams and Oscar Salute. <laughs> wow. That really would have been a waste of your time. Please, if we still have a show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the star of August Rush, Kerry Russell.
The second nominated song, Raise It Up, comes from August Rush, a little movie with a big heart. I loved being part of this film. The setting is a Harlem church where a choir is singing about the painful realities of their existence and the strength it takes to nurture and sustain the dream of a better life. The words and the music sung by the choir and an amazing 11-year-old named Jemiah Simone Nash touch the soul and inspire others to dream as well. Written by Jamal Joseph, Tevin Thomas, and Charles Mack, and featuring the choir from the Impact Repertory Theater of Harlem, and soloists from the film, here is Raise It Up. No father figure in the house, and I'm wondering how I'm gonna work it out. Oh, my friends keep on telling me how I don't need that man, but they don't really understand. There's far too many pressures in reality, but dealing with the pain and stress and poverty, and I gotta be myself because there's nobody else for me, no. Sometimes it takes a different kind of love to raise a child. So don't give up. Don't give up. No, no. Sometimes it takes a different kind of dream to make you smile. Don't raise it up. Don't raise. with me. Sometimes we need another helping hand to show the way. So don't give up. Don't give up. No, no. Sometimes it seems impossible, and that's why we pray. Pray. Seems to be nothing left for me. Simone Nash, she is unbelievable, 11 years old. That's really remarkable, it's wonderful. You know that that is an inspirational song when you got Hal Holbrook in the aisle doing the cabin patch. That's what he was up there doing. <laughs> Helen Mirren, you got served. All right. Please welcome Academy Award nominee, Owen Wilson. A short film is defined as a motion picture that is not more than 40 minutes long. That's not a lot of time to tell a story, yet the craftsmanship in these films is extraordinary. The themes are provocative, and the diversity of subjects in this category is incredible. The nominees for Best Live Action Short Film are... At Night, Christian E. Christensen and Louisa Vest. Il Suplente, The Substitute, Andrea Jubilin. Le Mozart des Pickpockets, The Mozart of Pickpockets, Philippe Palais Villard. 
Tanguy Argentini, Guido Tess, and Anya Delamans. The Tonto Woman, Daniel Barber and Matthew Brown. Leave now, Mr. Bonnet, or you'll walk nine miles to shave. And the Oscar goes to Les Musards des Pickpockets, Philippe Pellier Villard. Academy Award and nomination for Filippo Le Villard. Thank you, thank you very much. But uh, I, I don't really speak English. Um, I'm a very bad student. <laughs> and uh, I can say uh, I'm very happy and uh, I want to thank my producer, Fabrice Goldstein and Antoine Rhin, and my wife Gabi, and my sons Basil. And uh, merci beaucoup, et puis à bientôt pour un film plus grand. Merci, au revoir. Wow, the Academy Awards. This is exciting. I'll tell you, it's a long way from the pupa stage. But seriously, I was thrilled to be a part of B-Movie. It really seems there are fewer and fewer great insect roles these days. And you should know, this was not the first part I've done in a film. Here's a look at some of my earlier work. I guess it's true what they say. There are no small parts, but there are some very small actors. In any event, the nominees for Outstanding Animated Short Film are... I Met the Walrus, Josh Raskin. What we do is we smash the place down, then we build it up again, and the people that build it up hang on to it. And then they become the establishment. Madam Tootley Pootley, Chris Lavis, and Mashek Chabowski. Mem Les Pigeon, Von O Paradis, Even Pigeons Go to Heaven, Samuel Tourneau, and Simone Venesse. My Love, Moya Liubov, Alexander Petrov. <laughs> Peter and the Wolf, Susie Templeton, and Hugh Welchman. And the Oscar goes to. Peter and the Wolf, Susie Templeton and Hugh Welchman. the first Academy Award in nomination for Susie Templeman, Templeton, and Hugh Welchman. Um, this is for everyone. Um, this is for our fantastic crew, and this is for everybody who worked so passionately on our film to make our dream come true. Yeah, no, this really is a, a fairy tale ending for us, but hopefully it's only the beginning for Peter. And this amazing award um, will help keep Prokofiev's Peter and the Wolf in the hearts and minds of children all over the world. So, the Academy, thank you so much. It's been amazing. We're here to present the Oscar for the best performance by an actress in a supporting role. Mr. Ray Milan. The winner is Mercedes McCambridge. Donna Reed, and from here to eternity. Rita Marino in West Side Star. Billy Winters in the Couch of Blue. Estelle Parsons in Money and Flight. Doris Leachman. Eileen Hackard. Tate to Meryl Streep. Linda Hunt. Diane Weiss. Gee, this isn't like I imagined what it would be in the bathroom. Gina Davis. Brenda Frickard. Whoopi Goldberg. 
Mercedes Rude. Here is Sorvino. Juliet Binoche. The Dame Judy Dent. Marcia Gay Harden and Paul. Renee Zellweger. Rachel Weisz. Jennifer Hudson. In supporting roles performed with the brilliance of these artists, they have done for film what the Cheshire Cat did for Alice. They have left an indelible impression. I can't tell you how encouraging a thing like this is. And now to present this year's award for supporting actress, Academy Award winner, Alan Arkin. There are those who talk about a golden age of cinema in the past tense, as if it were many decades ago. But when you consider the performances of these five gifted women, it's very clear that the golden age of cinema is still very much alive. The nominees for Best Supporting Actresses are... Kate Blanchett in I'm Not There. You know, saying cause of peace is just like saying... It was like a hunk of butter. You know, I, I don't know how you can listen to anybody who wants you to believe is dedicated to the hunk and not the butter. I'm not sure I follow. You know, uh, I didn't come out of some cereal box. There's no one out there who's ever going to be converted by a song. Ruby D, an American gangster. I never asked you where my all uncle. this came I, from because I didn't want to hear you lie. I don't want you to worry about it. Now, come on, I got to don't go. Don't lie to me. Don't do that. Come on. Do you want to... Do you want to make things so bad no. for your family no. that they'll leave you? No. Because they will. I'll leave you. Sersha Ronan in Atonement. You saw him, then? Yes, I saw him. Just as you see me. I know it was him. You know it was him? Well, you saw him. Yes. I did. I saw him. With your own eyes? Yes. I saw him. I saw him with my own eyes. Amy Ryan in Gone Baby Gone. These cops just swooped right in, went right for the bikers. And Amanda was with us, so um, we just pretended to be like a family. And we got in the car, took off. You took Amanda with you? I don't got no daycare. It's really hard being a mother. It's hard raising a family, you know? All on my own. Tilda Swinton and Michael Clayton. This is a $3 billion class action lawsuit. In the morning, I have to call my board. I have to tell them that the architect of our entire defense has been arrested for running naked in a snowstorm, chasing the plaintiffs through a parking lot. I understand. What sickness is he talking about? I don't know. It could be anything. Well, give me one. Frostbite. Do you think this is funny? And the Oscar goes to Tilda Swinton. This is the first Academy Award and nomination for Tilda Swinton. Oh, no. Uh, happy birthday, man. I have an American agent who is the spitting image of this. Really, truly, the same shape head and, it has to be said, the buttocks. And I'm giving this to him because there's no way I would be in America at all, ever on a plane, if it wasn't for him. So, Brian Swordstrom, I'm giving this to you. And Tony Gilroy walks on water. It's entirely official, as far as I'm concerned. And 
Jen Fox and Steve Samuels, our incredible producers, and Sidney Pollack, and George Clooney. You know, the seriousness and the dedication to your art, seeing you climb into that rubber bat suit from Batman and Robin, the one with the nipples, every morning under your costume, <laughs> on the set, off the set, hanging upside down at lunch. You rock man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The winner is Sydney Portrayman. Oscar? God. There is no honor in the motion picture business that exemplifies all the things that one could possibly reach for. It was amazing. It was amazing, 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 amazing. Stay tuned for Jessica Alba, Miley Cyrus, and the performance of the third nominated original song on the 80th Annual Academy Awards. I was asked to host the Academy Scientific and Technical Awards. The dinner and award show were held on February 9th at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Beverly Hills, and 13 awards were given to the inventors, wizards, and engineering magicians who create some of the most important and inspired moments in cinema. Here are some of the awards I was honored to present. For the development of photographic technologies that are true breakthroughs in film speed, grain, and sharpness, the Academy's Award of Merit was presented to the Eastman Kodak Company. The prestigious Gordon A. E. Sawyer Award was presented to David A. Grafton for his innovations in lens designs for optical effects printers that ushered in a new age for visual effects in motion pictures. Many of the winners are here tonight, so let's give our congratulations. Very nice. This is sort of cool. Uh, I don't even know, but uh, Jessica Alba is pregnant, and I saw earlier Kate Blanchett is pregnant, and that's very exciting. Two pregnant women here tonight at the Oscars. Then again, obviously the night is still young, and uh, <clears throat> and Jack is here. So uh, <laughs> perhaps, sir, we will retally at the end of the night. The compulsories are open. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, Sid Gannis. Hello there, everybody. Thanks very much for coming. Um, some people ask me, you know, why do we give out Oscars? Well, we do it to shine the brightest possible light on great film work. But how we get there is a little more complicated. With around 6,000 Academy members all over the world and hundreds of eligible films to consider, the job of selecting the nominees and then choosing the Oscar winners isn't an easy one. And we also want to do it fairly and honestly. And, and here's the kicker, we want to keep the results a secret until the envelopes are opened on this very stage. It's a big job. Here's how we do it. It starts with Academy members seeing the movies, just like you. For this time of year only, we don't even have to pay. Studios want us to see their films, an and we want to see as many movies as possible so that every member gets his or her say. I'm a part of the process, which is really cool. You know, when, when they announce the winners, I'm part of that. First come the nominations. Our accounting firm, Price Waterhouse Coopers, sends all the members lists of all the movies and every member gets to nominate the five best pictures. I always get the feeling there's somebody at the Academy sort of opening all these letters and kind of going, did you see the way Molina voted? Our branch members nominate the best achievements in their own fields. Some categories even have special screenings at Academy theaters. When the nominations are decided, we spend a long night getting the news to the world and the final ballots to all the members. Juno, Leanne Halfon, it's time for you to vote. Novik. You suddenly become very serious about something that you hither to that point are very light about. I don't know.
Sometimes we joke about the process, but we actually take it pretty seriously. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Well, I absolutely take it very seriously. You know, it's, a, it's an honor to be in the Academy. This is the glorious time of the year. You got all the envelopes right in there? What do you say we open those suckers up right now? These votes are all counted in a sealed room, and a secretary types them out, and she is taken out and shot, and here we are. Well, not exactly. And although we can make fun of it, we're really proud of the reliable and fair way this all works. I've come right to where the members return their ballots and the secret counting is done, just to check out how things are going. Sid Gannis from the Academy. Hello, Brad. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sid, it's secret. You can't come in. I guess it is secret. That was amazing. <laughs> I always thought it was superdelegates. All right. Our next presenter is Miley Cyrus, and no, I cannot get her to sign anything for your kids. Please welcome Miley Cyrus. Our next nominated song is also from the movie Enchanted. The scene takes place in New York Central Park and it really captures the awesome variety of ages and cultures in the city all joined together in that search for a happily ever after ending. The song That's How You Know by Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz features many musical styles and when you hear it, you can't help but feel pretty darn hopeful yourself. Led by the delightful Tony Award winning actress, Kristen Chenoweth, here is the third nominated Oscar contender. That's how you know. How does she know?
Coming up, more with John Stewart, Penelope Cruz, and Forrest Whitaker. And the